welcome to video three in our wholesaling secrets video series and what you can do to get your wholesaling business up and running. And step number three is building the perfect team. So who do you need on your team? I'm going to tell you so you don't make the same mistakes that I made when I first started in wholesaling because I don't want to see you get any fines for anything and I want to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. So number one, a real estate attorney. Even if someone gives you a contract, you should consult a real estate attorney to make sure that that contract is applicable for your area and that you're doing everything appropriately for wholesaling. Sidebar, an important note, if you're a real estate agent, you should also be having your broker check out the wholesaling contracts and being transparent with them that you also want to do wholesaling. Some brokers will allow you to do this, but you have to find one that is investor friendly, okay? So you might have to change brokerages. Number two, title company. Here is the most important thing you wanna ask your title company. How do they like to see wholesale transaction completed when an investor brings them a wholesale deal? Every title company is a little bit different and believe it or not, wholesaling is outside the box for them. A lot of buyers and sellers they work with are traditional buyers and traditional sellers with a real estate agent in between. So they're not used to the way that wholesalers do things. So ask at a local meetup group or in a group on Facebook, who is an investor friendly title company that people are using and stick with that company. And despite what your buyers want to do, make your buyers close with your title company because it's nothing but headaches when our buyers want to close with other title companies that don't understand the wholesale process. So attorney, title company, who else? Home inspector that you can pay on the side or someone that has some mechanical knowledge and some knowledge of working on houses that has walked through houses in the past that can go out and take pictures for you and give you an idea of some rehab costs and if there's any major structural issues or repairs that need to be completed on a house. So it's important you have someone that knows what they're doing. The other person you will need, and a lot of times people don't think about this, are a VA, a virtual assistant, to do follow-up calls and cold calls in your wholesaling business, and a marketing team to send out your marketing. You're probably asking, what am I doing? What part am I on the team? That's for you to choose. Maybe you wanna do the marketing. Maybe you're talking to all the sellers. Maybe you're doing all the follow-up calls. Maybe you're doing the cold calling. Maybe you are a one-man show doing it all, but somewhere along the line, when you start closing deals, you're gonna get so busy, you're gonna start dropping the ball somewhere. This is why we created our program where we provide all of that for our students so that they can just buy houses. So yeah. Comment below for me about your favorite role on your wholesaler flipping team. What do you like to do? Do you like to do project management? Do you like to do marketing? What, what part of it do you like to do? Cold calling, texting, or are you like, hey, I just wanna buy houses and I don't wanna deal with all this other stuff. I'd love to hear from you. I know for me, I love the marketing side, but everything else, my business partner kind of oversees. Stay tuned next week for episode four in our wholesaling series where we're gonna talk about finding truly motivated sellers to close some deals in your wholesale business.